Dazzle, everybody! Welcome back to the Whitey Patrick Show. I am your host, Whitey Patrick, and this is Duchess Anne taking your calls. Hi, Whitey. Hi, everybody. Well, hour six of the Whitey Patrick Show is brought to you by Vidalia's Pizza, Central Moving and Storage, Fred's Bait and Tackle, Tarkington Video Rentals, Happy Dragon Family Chinese Restaurant, Windy Pine Lodge, Strings and More, located out on Highway 82, and Pennington Paper Products. Well, the hour has finally come. I have it right here, right here on my professional radio broadcaster's desk. I love this desk. It's a great desk, folks. I got my desk at Marvin Brothers Office Supplies. For all your office supply needs, go talk to good old Bob Marvin over at Marvin Brothers. Don't go to those big mega office supply stores where they don't give a rat tail comb about you. Bob has been serving the surrounding area for over 23 years. I count on Marvin Brothers for all my desk needs. Me too. And on this desk, I have it. Are you excited, Duchess Anne? I'm excited. I have the list. Yay! That's right, and we're talking movies. Oh, I love movies. Well, good ones at least. That's the way I feel about it. And these aren't just good movies. These are the best movies. And of course, whenever the subject of movies comes up, I naturally think of my good friends at Tarkington's Video Rentals. Aw, that's where Frankie works. That's right. Oh, I love Frankie. Well, Frankie or any of our friends down at Tarkington's Video Rentals can help you. Every time Yvonne and I decide to make it a special movie night, we always go over to Tarkington's Video Rentals. Don't go to those big mega movie rental stores where they have every movie in the world but the one you want to see, with the kid behind the counter that doesn't know Ben Stiller from Ben-Hur. My good friend Bob Tarkington has been renting movies to the metro area since 1986. So go see the folks at Tarkington's Video Rentals next time and tell them, shadazzle, and say that Whitey Patrick sent you. And say hi to Frankie for me. Well. The time has come. Like I've been telling you since hour number one, I have the list. These are the 10 best movies of all time according to the International Film Academy. So call the Duchess now with your favorite movie to see if it made the list. Our next caller is Ted from the North Side. Hey, Ted. Shadazzle, Whitey. Hey, Shadazzle, Ted. Now, how's your new job working out? Great. You know, it's cool they let me listen to your show while I'm at work, and I can use the phone anytime I want to. Uh, it's a little hard to hear you, Ted. Are you on a bad connection? Oh, here. Wait a second. Oh, there we go. How's that? Uh, that's better, Ted. Yeah, I forgot to turn the conveyor off. Hey, remind me to turn that back on, will you? You bet. You bet. What's your movie, Ted? How about Spaceballs? Uh, that was a great movie. Yeah, uh, let's see. Spaceballs. Uh, it's got to be on here. Uh, it's a classic. Uh, it's not. It's not on here. No space balls. What? Are you kidding me? No, it's it's right here in black and white. I printed it off the internet myself. I printed it on the printer I just bought from Pennington's Printing and Paper Products. Well, I'll be. That's right. You know, Pennington's Printing and Paper Products puts printing power back in the palm of your hand. Don't partake in pitifully perplexing printing pitfalls. Put Pennington Printing and Paper Products to work for you. Anytime you need quality printing products, don't bother with those big printing mega stores where you ask for 60 pound, 97 GE brightness, archival grade chlorine free linen cardstock, and then they send you home with some 20 pound recycled 20% post consumer A4 garbage that isn't even suited to line your birdcage. Go out and see Bob Pennington over there at Pennington's Printing and Paper Products and tell them why he sent you. They make great business cards. I'll say they do. Now, we have Mike in the Valley. Shedazzle. Hey, Shedazzle, <laughs> What's up, Mike? I haven't heard from you since Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I had the flu. I was oh. still listening to you, though. All right, yeah. well, go ahead and tell us what's your pick for the top movie. <laughs> wow, I, well, I know what number one is. Oh, do you? Okay, yeah, it's okay. Gotta be, gotta be the Bad News Bear. Oh, oh I love that yeah. one. That's a, yeah, you're right. It's a great movie. It's um, looking here. It's classic. It's, you know, Walter Math, all those. Uh, nope, it's not here. The one uh, from the 70s, you know, I wouldn't watch that remake. <laughs> <Marvin>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, it's not here. But you know, that movie is all about baseball. And whenever I think about baseball, I think about Coney Dogs. And whenever I think about Coney Dogs, I think, of course, of Bob's Coney's, right there next to the ballpark on Oak Street. You know, Bob's Coney's can help you fill that void in your stomach with a delicious Coney Dog. Buy them one at a time or get Bob's special Baker's Dozen. 
You see, if you buy 12 conies at the regular price, Bob will throw in an extra cony for a quarter. That's just the kind of thing Bob does, because he's a great guy. Don't go over to those big mega cony dog stores where you ask for a hot dog with onions and they give you chili fries with jalapeno peppers. Bob's been serving the city his special recipe conies for over 38 years. So the next time you think of conies, think Bob's conies. Mm, I sure could go for some conies right now. You know, me too. Well, it looks like we have all our lines open and we still haven't heard from Simon from downtown yet this hour. So until we do, I'm going to give out number 10 on the list. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. Number 10 is, um, now wait a minute, there's, there's a misprint here. It says number 10 is eight and a half. What does that mean? Oh, they probably mean eight and a half weeks. I never saw that one. Oh, oh yeah, you mean nine and a half weeks. Okay, according to this, it was directed by Frederick O'Felony. Okay, well, let's go on to number nine, okay? Number nine is Fritz Lang's Metropolis. I think I saw Metro Police. It's with Jackie Chan. Oh, I love Jackie Chan. You know, as I look at this list, I haven't heard of any of these movies. This is ridiculous. I, I think people at the International Film Academy are a bunch of idiots. Where's Airplane? Where's Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah, and what about The Breakfast Club or Short Circuit or Top Gun? Yeah. Ooh, I love Top Gun. Yeah, you know, I'm done. Well, you want to tune in tomorrow when we'll talk about the top five things that tick me off when I'm driving. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow. It's uh, Duchess Anne with uh, Whitey Patrick on the 995 Up. <laughs>